before I start the video today, I just want to let you guys know I am doing my Billet Works $150 shift knob giveaway to any of you guys that hit that subscribe button and also comment down below that you guys are interested. I will be giving the shift knob away once I reach about 1,000 subscribers. So let's get grinding and let's get this giveaway pushing. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Dude7 and today we have an exciting video. I've wanted to do this for a long time now and today we're finally going to be doing it. I'm going to be talking about all the mods I've done to my Mazda 3. I've been driving it for over a year. I've had it for almost two years now, actually. So I have a lot of goodies packed in such a little thing that you don't even realize. And basically, I wanna share to you guys all the stuff that I've done so that you guys can do it yourselves and have a cool car that you guys have always wanted. That's my objective here is for you guys to have something cool that you know other people don't really have or you know like Mazda people can't do because it's hard but everything I've done so much to this car and I want you guys to know what I've done so we're gonna be taking a look at it don't let the wheels mesmerize you I got wheels in the back right now I'm about to show you I have a set of the 17 inch snowflake wheels that are seen on the Mazda 3 GTs mine's a GS model so I had different wheels so I ended up by picking up these for a cheap price and I'm gonna be doing them in a red now this is only the base coat so the the primer and stuff like that I'm gonna be putting a different red over it so this is just a premiere of what we're gonna be doing super excited this car is just full of goodies let's go take a look at it so basically I'm gonna be doing the interior I'm gonna be doing outside and then I'll do the engine so basically we got a lot of stuff to get through let's get into it all everything that I've done in case you guys miss anything will be down in the description below just so you guys can like check back and see hey I didn't see that but you know I'm gonna check the description to see if you guys missed anything or if you want to see anything and yeah so let's get straight into the video let's let's do this it's gonna be super cool all right guys so to start with the interior nothing on the door has been done with it's all pretty much in the middle here so starting on the left side we have these the round here used to be chrome i painted that black i took these out painted that black so it matches with the entire dash my dash is black so that works out really well now if we move into the tachometer here with all the gauges this ring that goes around here that used to be chrome as well so this used to be chrome and that used to be chrome so i painted this black i painted that black and it flushes really nice and i really like how it looks pretty much everything in here that was chrome i painted black i still have to do my handles one day i have to figure out how to do that looking at the steering wheel here i have my badge black i didn't do this really good well i did did tape it and then I cut it and then it didn't work out that well I suggest using nail polish to get that nice finish and don't get all the rough edges around here like that nothing with the pedals or anything it's all base down there I do want to get Mazda Speed 3 pedals that will be coming one day moving into the middle here we got my JDM is gonna get the dice off I'm gonna keep the JDM thing just because I have the yellow fog lights and then moving in the actual middle where the console is we have my rear trunk badge so that came off my trunk I shaved down the metal pins under it and I stuck it right here I'm gonna bring this every Every car that I have and that's gonna be dedication to this this bad boy moving down here we got the dash kit for the double din with the slot that you can put stuff in here which is very nice and this deck that I have is the pioneer AVH 291 BT so it's a Bluetooth double din it's very nice so yeah so it's Bluetooth it's got USB you can watch movies you can do all that you can have a rear view camera which I have to do again I have a lot of stuff that I have to do and that's I'm gonna be doing this all in the winter all the cheap stuff moving down here these knobs aren't stopped either I got these off of eBay for like 10 bucks they're just a custom HVAC knob that a lot of people actually do their cars I didn't know about this until I just found like one video and no one's done videos on this except me and some other guys so it's kind of cool these are very nice knobs and they feel very nice and a lot nicer and cleaner than what your stock knobs used to be now if we go down here there's usually a light in your ashtray but when we turn on my headlights you guys will notice I have footwell LEDs so basically the footwell LEDs I wired into here I have a video on that if you guys want to see it and check out my Mazda mods playlist I have all my mods on there just so you guys can see how what you're doing so I have red foot LEDs just to match with all the lighting and the interior and it looks really nice so moving down here we got my billet works candy red weighted shift knob shift boot retainer and a stitch boots bride shift boot and under that I have a short throw shifter I bought off of eBay again and I have another video on that if you guys want to check it out and now I do have USB attached from my deck running from in here and it just runs under the entire panels comes out through here so moving on over to this side over here this trim piece used to be I believe it was chrome I actually can't remember so I just painted that in matte black and then I also painted that side too just to flush it out so basically the dash and everything looks very nice on this car very clean and I'm very excited on how it looked out I also painted this now you guys can get 
black buttons from the cheaper Mazda 3s, but I can't find them. I just can't find them. So I just painted it and it looks like garbage. Then also with the seatbelt covers, I just have Mazda Speed thing that I bought from an automotive store down in the mall. So basically that's the dash and I can't believe there's anything in the back. So that's the interior, you know, and I've had a lot of shift knobs and stuff, but my interior is the way I like it. And everyone's always like, hey, you know, this is pretty cool. This is very clean. And yeah, so that's my interior and let's move on to the outside. So the outside of my car consists of many different things, many painted things as well so we'll start with the front so as you guys see here i do have leds for my headlight and i have leds in my fog lights those are wrapped yellow just did a video on that i moved my license plate down there with some zap straps and i put a shade over it just to give it a darker look looking at the front here as well i got a juraflex open mouth grill that gives it a nice look and i do like it a lot better than my stock grill if that counts as well i also have hello horns just chilling in there you guys can't see that i'll check when i go on the engine bay just so you guys can see that better so basically that's the front of the car and moving on i do want to get a sedan gt bumper this is only the gs model so i think something like that would give it more cool of a look so if we move over here my side blinkers are shaded with a plastic black just to give it a nice matte look to match with all the other black colors in the car if you guys do notice as well i don't have any of the bumper guard along the side of the car so those are disappeared moving on to the brake calipers i have them painted black and i also have a mazda red mazda sticker that goes along here gives it a really cool look with the bigger spoked wheels just so you can see it a little better and it's something that you don't notice but when you do it definitely gives it a nice very Cool look. I do have a Mazda Squad sticker right here. If you guys want Mazda Squad stickers, I'll have a video release on that soon. This is kind of my brand, the thing that I kind of go with. So I'll let you guys know once I get those going and you guys can buy one for yourselves. Moving on to the back here, we got these bumper reflectors. I shaded those in a plasti dip black, just like I did on the side blinkers over there. Gives them a nice look. And we take a look at the back. So we got my banner up here and also with the antenna, I got a carbon fiber short stubby antenna just to replace the, the long one that I don't like. And just recently done, I do have LED tail lights that's the latest video i've done so i got the led brakes i got the led reverse lights and i have led signals moving on to the middle my third brake light is also an led i got the evil m badge painted in black and i got my badges all my badges painted in black and then i also have a cork sport exhaust sounds very nice but I'll get through that on the engine as well then I got some password GDM fender washers just hooked up to my license plate with another shader cover and an LED for my license plate when it's dark out it works really nice and it's totally cool so my back end is probably the favorite about this car it just looks so I don't know evil demonic whatever you want to say it moving on here we got the BC Mazda 3 repping the local club and then we also have rain visor going along the side there and basically that's the outside of the car nothing much on the outside of the car just a lot of painted stuff next summer i do want to go really hard into the outside of the car i do want to get the new front bumper and also some side skirt and a lot of you know just really cool stuff obviously the wheels guys don't worry the wheels aren't here to stay they're just spares that i had laying around and i had to put them on if you guys watch my other videos you guys know i had rx8 wheels and they looked a lot better so moving on to the engine now taking a look at the engine bay in my car i have designed a little bit just to kind of match with everything else of course with the lighting and stuff everything's got to be red so taking a look, better look at the hello horns that I have here, also an installation on those if you guys want to take a look. They're very loud, don't want to let the horn off when I'm in my garage. As you guys see here, these red shiny things, these are password JDM fender washers just like you guys saw on the license plate. And they actually give it a really nice kind of dress up look. And uh, moving on over here, my engine cover is painted red, I still got to do black on this. Got a Mazda sticker and also a Corsware sticker that I painted over and took off. And obviously the big thing of the engine bay here is my Corksport Power Series cold air intake with a KNN filter on it. My other filter that Corksport gave with me broke down and I didn't like it too much, so I got the KNN just to replace it. Nothing wrong with the Corksport one, it's just when I have to clean it, I kind of I don't know what happened, it just didn't work and stuff like that. So this is very nice. If you guys have any questions about it or anything about anything in here, let me know. Obviously I got that red, got the battery cover red and black. And then I also have a throttle body grounding. So here's my grounding and it goes all the way up and it increases performance. 
and it actually like it's not a huge increase but you can definitely tell that mid rpm so it's kind of cool but basically that's my engine bay and then also of course the favorite thing about this car is i have the corpse sport exhaust so if we go take a look at that i've had this exhaust on my car pretty much since i've started driving it and i can't say that i love it any more than i have been a year of driving with it and it's amazing it's probably one of the best exhausts on this car i might switch it up next year just to get a different taste for things and see what everything sounds like but it's super super nice and i love it so basically that's the all my mods that i've done to my car if i missed anything like i said the entire description will be full of all the stuff i've done to my car this is an amazing car i love the car so much i'll do a top five reason why i love and hate the car one day but basically there's so much stuff that you guys can do to the car it's just that you have you just there's no ideas on and that's my objective is to bring that to you guys so the hope that you guys can do the same thing that i can and like i said i hope you guys do stick around because this car will be insane in the summer i'm super stoked it will be entirely revamped on the outside and i'm thinking i'm getting like an exhaust manifold and all that stuff so it will be insane but i love this car and i hope you guys love your mazdas too but that's the video for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed something like i said i really wanted to bring this out to you guys just so you guys have the idea and like i said anything that you see on the car will be in my mazda mods playlist i'll leave that in the description description below as well. Highly suggest you guys, if you guys are looking for stuff to do, then take a look at all the stuff I've done. There's so much stuff that you just wouldn't really think of, and I hope you guys can do it for yourselves and really enjoy you know, doing the stuff that I do, and but you guys doing it yourself. Mazda mods and stuff, I still got lots to come, and like I said, the summer's gonna be super crazy for this car, and I'm super excited to bring it to you guys. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I'll be selling my Mazda Squad stickers very soon, and also make sure to hit that subscription for the giveaway at a thousand subscribers. My name is Dude7 and thank you guys so much for coming out to the video today. I will see you guys in the next one.